a Google form that you collect a lot of data in and uh, you gather that data over the course of a school year and then you want to use it again the next year but you don't want to have all that data in the same spreadsheet so for example um, let's imagine this is 21 22 and at the end of the 22 school year I want to clear this out and and start over for 22 23 I do want to keep the data though so I want to show you how you'll set your form up to do that so I'm in the spreadsheet for my Google form and uh, I'm going to start off by creating a brand new tab so I do that by going down to the bottom clicking the plus and that adds a sheet a new tab in the spreadsheet and I'm going to rename this 2021-22 this is going to be where I archive the 21-22 data at that point I go back to my form responses this is the live Form where the live responses from the form come in and then I need to highlight all of these rows so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to click the number beside the first row and then I'm going to scroll down and click the number beside the last row while holding down the shift key this will select all the rows in between now that may mean you need to click this one and then scroll and scroll and scroll until you get to the bottom um, but that but as long as you hold down shift and click the last one it will select the entire thing at that point I'm gonna copy this I can either right click and copy or I can hit control C and then I switch over to my 2122 archive sheet make sure I'm on the first row here and then I'm gonna right click paste and so now I've archived this data At this point I can go back to the form responses sheet this is where the new ones are gonna come in for 2223 and now I can delete these rows because I've already copied this data over so at this point I'm gonna right click and delete rows 2 through 10 and that clears that out now at this point um, if I just put a new one in it's gonna start it back up here at the top personally I don't like all this blank space with all these extra rows that it puts in so if you want to clean things up a little more you can do that same trick of click the row and I'm going to actually leave one at the top. You need to leave one underneath your static rows. So I'm going to click row three here. And I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And then I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to click row 991. Now I can right click, delete rows, and it will clear it. I always like to run a quick test to make sure it's right. So I'm going to go into my form and I'm going to put in some fake data so test test submit and I go back to the spreadsheet and there it is if that data is coming in correctly in the right place so I can right click that one and delete it and now my form is reset and ready